first thing that I always like to talk about is she's really funny. And I don't think that very many people get to see it enough as I do. I have a front row seat. She's actually hilarious. <laughs> actually, she's... as if it's so surprising. I, I think some people would be surprised. <laughs> I love this morning. This is good. <laughs> like, that's that. <laughs> I'm sure that sounds good in your ears. Yeah, Sorry. you're welcome. <laughs> Poor sound guy's ears bleeding over there. You still aren't singing. Yeah, okay. That's good. We, cool. We can at least have us Ici Jacinthe Taillon, bonsoir. Et toi, Sur Glace 2010 a présenté une troupe entièrement canadienne, tous de grands champions du présent ou du passé. Pour vous faire plaisir, ils ont mis toutes leurs énergies, mais surtout toute leur passion dans la préparation de ces spectacles. Pendant deux jours, ils nous ont permis de les suivre en coulisses. We both love soup and uh, we love the outdoors. Uh, we love snow peas. One that sticks out in my mind was heading to Tokyo one year and our flight was grounded so we stayed on the tarmac for six hours before going to Tokyo. I was in the last, very last row with a dog and a baby and Scott was way up. I think you were actually upstairs yeah. in, in um, first class. Wow, you really let that go. <laughs> Weren't you in first class when I was at 55? Yeah, let's mention that. I think you like it. <laughs> We could not talk or talk forever and still find things to not talk about. But you bounce back so well and I mean if that's not a great day for you, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Well, usually you're not supposed to have to pull me up. Like, well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do anything. So there's talk that you actually, you made some comment to him. I think I just said, oh, very dramatic. Yeah, it was so cute. Because <laughs> I was like, I mean, I've quite, like, I don't have a bad temper sometimes. I do. But um, <laughs> usually when I'm competing, I can bounce back. But I was just like, oh, God, come on, Scott. And mm. she had a joke for me right away and brought me right back and gave me a squeeze of the arm. And, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it was, it was a pretty nice moment. So it was, put everything in perspective and, and we were able to finish the program strong and just kind of barely cling on to that. <laughs> Got a title out of it. You sure did. Yeah. Well, I thank both of you. This was awesome. Uh, lots of learning pieces and thanks for taking the time. Thank, thank you, Scotty. Alright. Wow. That was a fun one. I feel like we could just tap forever. We could. Oh, did you mean to press record? Or? I did. <laughs> it's 13 months. <laughs> Do you think I'm cute? Yes or no? Yes? <laughs> I can write this one with one hand. With one hand as opposed to two? Yeah, I usually write with two hands. <laughs> Way to call me in on that. Probably could have just let that go. <laughs> Part of our career. Especially for me. When we have a good day at the rink, I like to treat myself with chocolate. When we have a bad day at the rink, I like to make myself feel better with chocolate. <laughs> Two and Scott Moyer. <laughs> and, 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 and,
to celebrate and you write in your book that you partied really really hard afterwards in London to the point where I don't know maybe you were in a casino or something. like did you put your silver medal on the roulette table at one point like you bet your yes. medal first of all did you lose it yeah. <laughs> And secondly, I love this story because I'm a gambler too, a little bit. Okay. And also it shows me your personality because you know, we see athletes, like track and field athletes, figure skating athletes, we see their personalities. Rowers, I have no idea what a rower's personality is. So how come, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, yeah, I, I can't do <laughs> <laughs> like, it. difficult sports why in the world, it, that's why fine. Is it, why is rowing such sort of like blank for personality? No offense well. to rowers, but I mean. <laughs> First of all, yesterday was a lapse in judgment. Okay. And I did try to bet my silver medal on red and roulette. And luckily I had, we had formed a posse with some British locals and they convinced me to take it off the table. Phew, phew, phew. Um, but rowers have a lot of personality. The thing is, because rowing is so hard on the body and, and mentally and physically, you're, pre you're preparing for pain, really is okay. what's happening. So when you see us on TV, you see us galvanizing ourselves, stealing ourselves for the effort that's coming. And so it's, uh, you know, it really covers up everything that we are, which is a whole bunch of personality. Aww. <laughs> now I know you like hanging out at casino, so yeah, we will go. <laughs> I'll bring 20 bucks when we lose, that's it. <laughs> Can I come with my medals? Yes. <laughs> You've got some to spare. She's got a lot. <laughs> Dean, our camera operator here, was very, very intense on the couch, but I was maybe the most intense. Um, I, I don't know, like, like, are you used to this kind of <laughs> fandom? <laughs> I love it. And what are you supposed to yell when you guys, because do we yell, skate? Yeah, we, I don't like, know. I don't, don't drop her. <laughs> don't drop <laughs> My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like I can see the sands on. Scott and I have been skating together for 17 years. Well, it's kind of nice to end off the week. A good training week. Yeah, it was a great training week. Yeah. Just like 20 more of those and we're there, right? Eh? No, 22. You gotta count it. Yeah. Like only five more full moons. True, yeah. Only six more periods if we're going that route. <laughs> no, you really wanna leave? No, yeah, <laughs> I think it's time for the weekend. Scott's a better girlfriend, but I have a better outfit. We, we both actually make each other laugh, and I think that's probably um, part of why we've been able to share such longevity in our partnership. We, we both find the other quite hysterical. And repetition is funny, obviously, so 20 years of the same joke is, is still funny to us. 